laser engraving with the X-Tool F1 Ultra and the conveyor. How it works and how it performs. The conveyor on the X-Tool F1 Ultra allows us to expand the working area up to 50 centimeters in length. We can add a plank in like this and we just need to start the engraving from the centre line. Anything left of that centre line doesn't engrave to begin with, so it's really handy that we can take a photo and capture the image of what we're seeing with the really accurate camera and the F1 Ultra. I use the free software Xtool Creative Space and it's really easy and straightforward to use. This laser is fantastic, it has a 20 watt diode laser and a 20 watt fibre laser. So we really can engrave most materials with this dual laser. Here you can see very easily how the conveyor works, sliding back and forward, working with the Galvo laser. So the conveyor really does expand our working area with this laser. So to use it in this way, I can select large and conveyor, but we can also select conveyor and batch mode, which I'll show you very shortly. The conveyor is a very sturdy piece of equipment that's really easy to install and uninstall from the laser. And it does a really beautiful job as you can see here, don't worry about the W, I went over that twice, but the diode laser has done a lovely job of engraving in this wood. Let me now tell you about the batch engraving when it comes to using this conveyor. I use my iPad for the large engraving, but this time I'm using my laptop for the batch engraving. With the touchpad, it's really easy to move the laser up and down so that we get the focus on the laser. Using the camera to refresh the image, we can see exactly what we're engraving onto, so I move my image into place there. First of all, adding just the one piece under the laser. The laser is then able to detect and learn the shape that it's going to be picking up on the conveyor once it moves along next, with plenty of the pieces going past. Pull the protective hood down so there's enough space for the pieces to go under. Like mine, if you have some separate elements that make up your design, make sure you select them all and combine them like I did there. Select the correct parameters for your material. Don't worry if you don't know these, they're all there available for you on Xtool Creative Space. The next pieces to be engraved can then be haphazardly placed on the conveyor belt. These in turn move under the laser and are laser engraved. The camera works out where all the pieces are and I'll show you on more complex designs just shortly. Any pieces that fall underneath the rim of the protective hood won't actually engrave but you can just take these off and put them back on the conveyor belt. There is unfortunately a slight degree of inaccuracy and that is due to the thickness of the material. We might be able to tweak this a little bit though. I'm now testing it out with a non-symmetrical shape and I have my red rocking bird bird here. I love the touch pad that we have on this, it makes it so much easier. We also have the foot pedal so that's an option if it's better suited to the way you work. The software is picking up the birds really well and engraving these in the way that I hope they would even when the birds are in a completely different orientation. The conveyor really does make batch engraving super easy. It saves us having to move the protective hood back up and down every time we place a new object in and saves us needing a jig. So it really is down to personal preference if you think this is useful. And also if you tend to do more completely unique items or you do lots of batch engraving. The degree of error in the engraving seems to be about 2mm and I think that's because as the camera captures the image it sees the edge and so it doesn't quite know where to put that engraving so I do think with a bit of tweaking it could be improved. With different items like this where you want to engrave on just the wood part it can actually recognise the keyring and the orientation of these as well so it really is very clever when it comes to this. Do you think this is something that could be really useful for you? Do let me know in the comments below, or do you think it's quite gimmicky? As with all x -Tool products, it's really well made. The fibre laser on the x 21 Ultra gives us the ability to do lots with metal. I experiment more with this on another of my videos, so please take a look at that. A little trick with metal and the camera needing to detect it, so that it's not too reflective we can use a little bit of talcum powder and that way the machine can see the metal much easier. Take a look at my other video where I combat rust with my X-Tool F1 Ultra and I will also be doing some metal embossing on some coins. 
as the conveyor belt is black and the camera needs to pick up any items on there if they are also black it makes it really hard for the camera to detect those pieces but you can combat this by adding a contrasting material underneath it doesn't have to be this thick it could actually be a thin piece these metal business cards engrave super fast on this fiber laser the thin material works really well on this conveyor the accuracy is perfect to the eye and i do think it's because of the thinness of the material it can detect and it's not distorted in any way the camera really detects that shape and there's no way for any error i use this laser here in my home so i always use it with an extractor this one pumps it outdoors or i can use the air purifier also by x-tool the x-tool f1 ultra is a fantastic laser and the conveyor is a really good addition to it whether it's something for you i'll let you decide all links are in the description below check out the next x-tool video thank you for watching